So hi everyone, welcome back. Good to see you again. Um, so last week I mentioned about myth and facts for this uh, Ikoka armor. Well, I'm not gonna do any myth, it's just all facts. Ikoka armor is the new generation of surface protective coatings. Just like AJ's armor is reinforced with graphene nanotube, making it stronger, more flexible, and tougher against chemicals and corrosion, performing well under harsh environment. So why did we create armor? IGL coatings value sustainability. The creation of armor adds value and increases the lifespan of your equipment, valuables, assets, goods, machineries, products, and so many more. It makes them last longer, increasing the output, life, and appearance. Well, so instead of expecting the usual wear and tear of daily life, significantly reducing the life of easily damaged equipments and assets can make them last a lot, a lot longer with armor. Of course, with the anti-skid function, the ex it being extra tough, waterproof formula makes it a great choice for storage racking, warehouses, workshops, automotive finishes, and a lot more. If you're wondering where can armor be applied to, you'd be surprised because armor can be applied onto a lot of surfaces such as cement, concrete, wood, metals, and paint. It makes them it makes armor one of your top choice for every surface protection. It is adjustable, finishes from fine to rough surfaces, making it suitable for all application and your preference of the texture, whether to be used indoor or outdoor. We have done a lot of tests and one of it is impact tests that are used for testing paint and coating adhesion. So to do so, impact tests are performed through a drop test on an universal impact tester. To test a coating for impact resistance, a standard weight is drop, a distance to strike an indenter that deforms the coating and the substrate. The indentation can either be an intrusion or an extrusion. The distance of the weight drop is gradually increased until the point of failure can be determined. Generally, films will fail by cracking which you can actually see through a microscope. In some more severe cases, even with your naked eye, you can actually see it already. But in short, the higher draw score, the better impact resistance on the surface. In this test, the steel panels were coated with EcoCoat armor and another competitor coating. We will not mention name. You can find out for yourself in the future when you have armor you. Ecoco armor managed to withstood 3.02 Joule without any damage or cracking on the panel. It only start to crack at 4.62 Joule. This is a 34% increase in impact resistance compared with the comparator coating where the cracks appeared at 3.02 Joule. Moving on to our next test, the cross-cut adhesion test. It is a method for determining the resistance of paint and coatings from separation from the substrate by using a tool to cut into the coating, penetrating all the way into the substrate. After it has been cut, an abrasive tape is applied to the grid and pull off. So depending on the condition, the cross-cut values from 0 to 5 are identified. 0B represents a flaking of more than 65% of the cross-cut area, whereas 5B resistance show that the edges of the cuts are completely smooth with none of the squares in the grid becoming detached. Armour's formula was designed to have great adhesion to surfaces. At a 5B value on the adhesion test, armour is great against unwanted peeling and flaking. And then to the next test, which is our third test, is the chemical resistance test, which I'm pretty sure you are quite curious about. So, what is it about and why is it important? Most coatings are subjected to a chemical resistance test. The test is conducted by applying chemicals onto the surface for a period of time to see the resistance and level of failure. Of course, the common chemicals used include butyl acetate, acetone cleaners, acids, alkalis, motor oil, and diesel. We have also tested our own range of products to see how well it will react against cleaning, maintenance, and more. Against EcoClean Multi, which has a pH level of 13 and Delete a pH level of 1, 
there was no visible damage after being left on armor for 24 hours. This is the same for motor oil, diesel and IPA. Using the MEK test, the carburetor coating had severe blistering and peeling at 15 minutes, whereas armor had no change at the same time. But of course, we didn't stop there. It is only after one hour of exposure, we noticed armor starting to soften with minor blistering, with minor discoloration as well. So that's an impressive four times of resistance. Against other chemicals, armor showed exceptional resistance as well, with up to six times more resistance to butyl acetate and three times more resistance to acetone. These are naturally known as paint strippers. So again, why is chemical resistance important? Chemical exposure, especially prolonged exposure, may affect the strength, flexibility, impact resistance, and appearance of the coating. We don't want this happening to armor. So it's used to determine the coating's resistance to a chemical attack through daily use, for example, in the agricultural sector or industrial sector, where chemicals are used on a daily basis. Of course, or in case of accidents, Common chemicals related incidents such as petrol spills, leakages, or cleaners, or even bird poop will happen. These are some of the crazy accidents. Like we don't want it to happen, but it just happened. And some high chemical resistance coating on a coating, especially for armor, creates better value and increases the life of the coating against accidents. Well, easier maintenance routine, knowing that certain products are deemed safe for use. Let's move on to the last test. So what's flexibility and how is it measured? I'm putting this panel here again to show you what it means. Flexibility tests are used to determine a coating's elongation and its resistance to cracking. Band and impact tests are employed to evaluate the flexibility of the coatings. This test measures the deformation due to bending and impact. T-band tests are performed under ASTM D522. They are used to evaluate the flexibility of coated strip metals that is to be formed during the fabrication process. Coatings provide protection and aesthetics and must withstand cracking or delamination during forming. T-band tests are an industry standard test used to qualitatively, qualitatively compare the formability of coatings and mimics the conditions experienced during hemming processes. These tests allows coating developers to understand the performance requirements, reduce waste, and develop better coatings. In our test, EcoCoat Armor presented excellent coating flexibility as no pain fracture or pick-off was observed in the T-band at all stages. As a comparison, the closest competitor coating showed cracks at every stage of the band. This is quite a poor performance actually. This validates further that the incorporation of graphene nanotubes enhances its flexibility within the system. So I hope you didn't fall asleep listening through all the tests. I know it's a bit lengthy, but this is all the things that we make sure that our team, our R&D team, run through all the tests and make sure that you have a great product on your hand. Because all these things matter to us. And we hope that you will enjoy the product Go for the training with your distributor, play with the product, and this is a product that will actually help to grow your business a lot more because all we do is think out of the box and you grow your IGL Coatings family. So thank you everyone and hope to see you soon again. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions comment below and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little notification bell and we'll see you in the next video